Hello, my name is Maria and this is Mathy, my mascot. In this lesson, we're studying long division with a two-digit divisor. And long division works exactly the same way if your divisor has two digits or three or four as if your divisor is just a single digit number. So actually there's not really anything new, but there's a little trick that will help you and it gets some getting used to, basically, to divide when your divisor has two digits. I chose an easy one here, 20. So we have 1540 divided by 20. And the reason it's easy is because the multiplication table of 20 is basically very similar to the multiplication table of 2. You think exactly the same way. Does 20 go into 1? No. Does 20 go into 15? No. And then, how many times does 20 go into 154? Basically just multiply. Okay, 6 times 20 would be 120. 7 times 20 would be 140, 8 times 20 would be 160, so 7 times. 7 times 20, 140, and subtract. And then drop down this digit. And now 20 goes into 140 exactly 7 times, so 7 here, multiply, 140, subtract. And we're done. So that was easy, right? Let's try it again, this time with 60. 60 goes into 7, 0 times. Then 78. Oh, that's easy. One time. 1 times 60 is 60. Subtract and we get 18 here. And of course 60 does not go into 18, but we drop down one more digit. 189. Now, can you tell how many times does 60 go into 189? It's not difficult. There's 60, 60, that would be 120, and the third time, 180, so three times. And we get 180 here, subtract, and 9, and then drop down 2. Okay, 92, that's easy again, because it goes only once. One time, 60, and subtract, we get... 32 here, drop down that last digit, and then 325. Just keep multiplying by 60. 3 times 60, 4 times 60, 5 times 60, 6 times 60. 5 times 60 is 300, it goes 5 times. And subtract 25, and there are no more digits to drop down, so we're done. Our remainder is 25. And our answer is 1350. Now, when your divisor is not a whole 10, then it is very helpful if you build a multiplication table for that number somewhere on the side. Okay? And let's see. 26. It does not go into 5. Into 59. Can you tell how many times? Here's where we can... Maybe get help from here. 1 times 26 is 26, and then double that is 52. So it would look like it goes 2 times, right? 3 times 26. You can just add 26 to this. 78. So yes, 2 times. 2 times 26 is 52. Now we get 7, and then 9. 79. Okay, over here in my list, 78. 3 times 26 is 78, so it goes 3 times. 3 times 26 is 78, subtract, and 1. And then drop down this, 2. And 26 goes into 12, 0 times, right? And then, if you want to, you can go 0 times 26 and subtract and get 12. 12 is the remainder now. Okay, let's try it one more time. And maybe you want to try it on your own before I do it, okay? Get paper and pencil out. There's 37. That's 2058 divided by 37. And I started writing the multiplication table here. We would have 37, of course, here. And 74 here. I don't know which ones we will need. 
You can even fill this in as you go, as you need it. 37 goes into 2, 0 times, and into 20, 0 times, and then 205. Okay, I guess we better start filling this in. Let me double this 74. That would be here, right? That's not 205. No, not yet. 5 times 37 would be 185. No, that's not yet 205. At 37, we should get 222. Okay, that went over that. So we can see 5 times. 37 goes into 205 five times. And that is 185. Now subtract, we get 20 here. Drop down 8. 208. Well, that ends up being the same. It is still 5 times. Still 185. And then we get 23. Nothing to drop down anymore, so 23 is our remainder. And so it's 55. Remainder 23. Convert 785 ounces into pounds and ounces. Do you remember anything about pounds and ounces? Pounds and ounces. One pound equals how many ounces? You need to remember this. 16 ounces. Okay. And we have lots of ounces. Ounces are those little units. Now we are converting that into pounds and ounces. There will be less pounds or fewer pounds, right? Because pounds are the bigger units. And in this kind of conversions we always either multiply or divide by the conversion factor. And this time, which one are we gonna do? You guess it! Yeah, we're gonna divide! Even the lesson is about dividing. Oh, what's that, Matthew? Oh, he wants to do something, he's bored. Okay. Okay, I'll let Matthew do the division. Okay, he's bored. He needs to do something. So we're going to divide those ounces by 16. All right. Should we build a multiplication table for 16 too? Let me do that real quick. 1 times 16 equals 16, and 2 times 16 equals 32, and 3 times 16 is 48. And 4 times 16 equals 64. And one more, I don't know. if We might not need all of them. Let's just do it up to 5 times 60 for starters. Okay, 16 goes into 78. How many times? Can you see? All right, 4 times. Matthew has 14 there. Now you need to drop down the digit, right? 5. Now we have 145. How many times does 16 go into 145? Maybe we need to continue this multiplication table here. Okay. Let me see, if I take 4 times 16 is 64, then I double that. It is 128 here. And then 9 times 16 All right, now go on, Matthew. There we go, 144. And then subtract 1. Okay, now we are all done, I guess. Right? What's the answer? Convert 785 ounces into pounds and ounces. So, how many pounds is it? It's this number here. Yeah, it is 49 pounds. It's And then this one here is our leftover ounce, or the remainder ounce. So I have to write it here. One ounce. 785 ounces is 49 pounds, one ounce. Okay, now we're all done with this lesson.